So kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, huwag kalimutang mag-like and subscribe. Hi and welcome to another vlog. And for today's video, pag-aaralan naman natin ang PEMDAS. Ano nga ba yung PEMDAS? Okay, so PEMDAS is used to follow an order of operations. Ginagamit ito para sa mga problems or equations that has multiple operations. So ano nga ba yung PEMDAS? Okay, so ang PEMDAS is an abbreviation. P stands for parenthesis. Pwede rin siyang brackets and braces. E is for exponent. Then M and D is for multiplication or division. Um, either way, pwedeng magkapalit. Kung sinong mauna, we will solve it from left to right. A and S, which is addition or subtraction. Pwede rin magkapalit. At kung sinong mauna, we will solve it from left to right. So for example, we have 5 plus 7 times 3. So, according to PEMDAS, unahin natin yung multiplication or division. In this case, we have multiplication. So, unahin natin yung 7 times 3. So, the answer is 21. Tapos, saka natin gawin yung addition. So, 5 plus 21. And we get 26. Okay. Next example, we have 8 minus 6 divided by 2. So, according to PEMDAS, Multiplication and division comes first. Okay, in this case, meron tayong division. Okay, so unahin natin yun. 6 divided by 2 and we get 3. Tsaka natin gagawin yung uh, subtraction. Okay, so we get 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Next example, we have 2 times 7 plus 8 times 2. So, according to PEMDAS, unahin natin yung multiplication or division. Again, in this case, we have multiplication. Okay, so, we have 2 times 7, that is 14. And then, 8 times 2, that is 16. So, kaya natin gagawin yung addition. So, 14 plus 16 is equal to 30. Okay, so, next example, we have 10 divided by 5 times 3 minus 2. Okay, so, according to PEMDAS, unahin natin yung multiplication or division. In this case, we have both. Meron tayong division and multiplication. Okay, so, either division or multiplication, kahit anong mauna doon, pwede yung magkabaliktad. Okay, but we will be solving it from left to right. In this case, nauna yung division. So, unahin natin yung division. So, we have 10 divided by 5, that is 2. Tsaka natin, iba, uh, tsaka natin gagawin yung next operations. Okay, so we have times 3 minus 2. Okay, and then, solve naman natin yung multiplication. So, 2 times 3, that is 6. And then, tsaka natin gagawin yung subtraction. So, 6 minus 2, okay, that is 4. Okay, so next example, we have 6 plus the quantity of 3 times 2 minus 2 squared. So, according to PEMDAS, unahin natin yung nasa parenthesis. Okay? In this case, that is 3 times 2. So, 3 times 2, we have 6. Okay. And then, copy and ulit natin yung ating equation. Okay. So, next, according to PEMDAS, we calculate or solve yung exponent naman. So, in this case, we have 2 squared. Okay, so 2 squared is equal to 4. And then, saka natin gagawin yung addition and subtraction. So, we have 6 plus 6, that is 12, minus 4, and we get 8. So, ang sagot natin is 8. So, next example, we have 4 divided by 2 times a quantity of 9 divided by 3 plus 4 squared. Okay, so, according to PEMDAS, unahin natin yung uh, nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, in this case, we have 9 divided by 3, and that is 3. Okay. And then, copy and ulit natin yung ating equation. Okay. Plus 4 squared. Okay. So, next naman is, solve natin yung exponent. So, we have 4 squared here, and that is equivalent to 16. Okay, so... Kopihin lang ulit natin yung ating equations. 
3 plus 16. Okay. So, according to PEMDAS, unahin natin yung multiplication and division kahit anong mauna dun sa dalawa. Okay? And we'll solve it from left to right. So, in this case, nauna ulit yung division. Okay? So, we will um, divide 4 by 2. So, that is 2 times 3 plus 16. Okay? So, next naman natin is yung multiplication. Okay? So, 2 times 3, that is 6 plus 16 and the final answer we get is 22. So napakadali lang diba? I hope marami kayong natutunan sa video na ito. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.